If the center of this dome does not have that liquid passion fruit, it's not going to be good for you. To be honest, I don't know what the inside is going to look like. <laughs> Cream is curdling. Oh, my God. I'm whipping my cream, my mousse, and my whipped cream is over whipped, and it curdles. So I have to start all over again, better than trying to salvage what I have right now. So, Lynn, how are you? Good. I was doing well. Then my cream started to curdle. What happened there? It was room temperature. Usually, I put my cream in a metal bowl, and I refrigerate it. I'll start fresh. I'm just going to chill it. No biggie. I'm saying those words, but I'm freaking out. So you think you're going to be going up against David? Absolutely. People have not seen me coming this whole competition. You think you've been silently waiting for this opportunity? Yes, sir. Silent but deadly. Good luck. Thank you. 15 minutes. You have 15 minutes left. You better be thinking about plating soon. I haven't put the mousse in the mold for that chocolate round thing. I'm very worried about Lynn's chocolate mousse. Looks a little thin. It's not going to set properly. The tension in this kitchen is incredible. It's like truly like a horse race. These two ladies are tough. Either one is going to be scary in the finale. Doing the top of my creme brulee for me is a cinch. Getting a proper coat on takes multiple applications of sugar. You have to fill in those gaps. I don't like, you know, what Sabrina's doing. You know, she's adding sugar to it, which means she didn't get an even consistent layer to begin with. And you're now patching it up. If you burn it, it becomes very bitter. Five minutes! You have five minutes left. And remember, it's a replication. But taste is king. My brownie is coming out really well. It's nice and dense. It's also cutting really clean edges. That looks about right. Two minutes! You have two minutes left! That doesn't work. You know, desserts need to look absolutely beautiful. One shake of the hand, one misstep with piping out that chocolate, and you've got to start that plate again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, heads up! At this point, I'm thinking I got this. Sabrina's good at plating. Lynn is good at taste. If this goes to the person that makes the prettiest plate, Sabrina's gonna win it. Now, we will taste all your chocolate desserts, and this will determine which one of you will advance to the finale. Sabrina. Chef. What was the hardest about the creme brulee? The burnt sugar without taking it too burnt and making sure it's the right thickness. The most important thing is that tap. And if you hear that crack of the shell, then the sugar is done right, OK? If it doesn't crack, it's too thick. Here, so let's crack. Let's dig into this. That's very nice. It looks velvety smooth. It looks, OK? The egg and the cream, perfect. It's smooth, it's velvety. As I bite into that burnt sugar, it was not even. Parts that were thick, and there was parts that were not so thick. But overall, good job. Great job. Lynn. It looks pretty perfect to me. I like that crack because it's kind of like thin ice. Sugar coat felt very, very even, and that's what I was looking for. Inside, you have a nice combination, nice mixture of the white chocolate with the egg mix. That is close to perfection. Great dish. Thank you, chef. Well, certainly at first glance, it looks like a very, very good replication. The cut on your chocolate brownie looks very precise and clean. Let's try it. The 
the ice cream, I think, is wonderful. Beautiful consistency, has that hint of vanilla. The brownie, I get that dark chocolate richness. I just find this a touch on the dense side, and I, I, it, I'm concerned that it may have needed just a little bit more moisture. But a very, very good replication. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Lynn, how are you feeling? I'm very proud of myself right now. At first glance, I do think your cutting of the chocolate brownie is uh, less precise and a little ragged around the edge there. And that was the easiest aspect of this dish to pull off. But in the words of my esteemed colleague, taste is king. That ice cream is spot on. The chocolate brownie, delicious, soft, moist. All in all, a very good brownie. Thank you, Chef. This is not going to be easy. Thank you. Me and Lynn are both strong players. We're neck and neck. And now we're down to the final dessert. I have to say, this looks very elegant. You think you achieved the liquid center that we're looking for? Yes, Chef. Let's see what happens. That is a sight of beauty. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Fantastic. Thank you, Chef. The splash on the top, Lynn, looks a little messy. Yes, Chef. If the center of this dome does not have that liquid passion fruit, it's not going to be good for you. To be honest, I don't know what the inside is going to look like. <laughs> oh. Wow. Let's see how it tastes. You did it. You've just made our job a lot more difficult in picking who will be in the finale. Lynn, Sabrina, you've both done an absolutely magnificent job. So please excuse us, because we're going to need some time. I don't know what's more difficult creating three world-class desserts or picking one winner. Coming in third is not an option. Professional restaurant quality dishes. This is the end for somebody. I just hope I'm not that somebody. This is like splitting hairs. This is the closest it's ever been. Lynn and Sabrina. The three of us were completely amazed by what you achieved in this final pressure test. Both of you have displayed the kind of skill and determination needed to win this competition. But unfortunately, there is only one spot left in the MasterChef Canada finale. And that spot will go to... Lynn. actually pulled it off, and I did it. Congratulations, Lynn. Your perfectly moist brownies gave you the slight edge. Sabrina, you should leave here feeling very proud of what you've achieved. Cooking is what you were born to do, and we can't wait to see how far your skills take you. Please come up and say goodbye. This competition opened my eyes to how much I need to make food part of my everyday life. Listen to Sabrina. This is her dish. She earns her respect. Master Chef Canada has taught me to believe in myself. It's beautifully cooked. Great job. I may have not finished first, but oh man, I'm going to take the culinary world by storm.
Lynn, that was a remarkable achievement. Thank you, Chef. We'd like you to come up here right now and get your very own personalized chef's coat. You've really earned this, Lynn. I am so friggin' proud of myself right now, I could walk on the moon. The only thing that threatens me about Lynn is that she's such a fighter. I'm not afraid of her cooking chops, I'm just afraid about Lynn's heart. It's me against David, it's East versus West.